makes people do crazy things. In northern British Columbia's Jade City. Wow. Hi. Hey, kid. How's it going? Claudia's father, Steve, has arrived. How are you? No bad. A buyer from Vietnam is showing up later today to look at a quarter million dollars worth of jade. And Claudia wants her dad's help. This is the biggest deal that I've ever struck. And I'm determined to make it work. It has to work. That's the best color. And that's the highest price, too. My dad was one of the largest exporters of jade in the 1970s and 80s. My dad's always been a great seller. It's great that dad is here to support us to get this deal done. Nobody can beat our price. We can make a deal. She worried all the headache dealing with buyers. I tell her how to handle it. Everything in this season depends on this sale going through, so it's a very anxiety-ridden time. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That is pretty. Gary and Garen are also gearing up for the potential big sale. Firing her up. They're putting a new transmission in six-pack. Well, that's a whole lot different right there. If Claudia closes the deal, this truck has to be ready to haul Jade out of the mine. This truck is a very crucial point to have with us this year, because this is the one that hauls all the big stuff out. And we got some big stuff to haul out. They're here. I don't quite know what I'm stepping into. I'm assuming it's going to be very difficult. She never had the experience dealing with big money with people. They're in business now, huh? and they tried to beat you. You better smarten up, you know. Hello? In Jade City. Hello? The buyer from Vietnam, Pham Van Long, has finally arrived. Oh, how was your flight? Yes, very tired. Yeah. Long flight yeah. from my country to here. Yeah. Very tired. Yeah. Mr. Long is a geologist who works for the Vietnamese government. I travel around the world to find the rock stone to carve the Buddha for a temple in Vietnam. You slept all the way in the truck? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to buy two large jade slabs, but only if they're high enough quality. Selling jade to Vietnam is a whole new market for me. I don't know what their technique is in negotiating. Let's go show you your jade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's still a little bit on the south side dealing with the buyers. Jade is tough. you got to be tougher than Jade. If you show fear, you're done. We'll go in the helicopter. Ah, oh, OK. Cool. To the camp, yeah. so you can see. Yeah. This is off of one of the Buddhas. Yeah. You ready? Yes, of course. Come here. Okay. OK, tell me what you think. Oh, it's very gross ones. So you remember that it was a 92-ton yeah. boulder, huge. Yeah. Now we cut a piece for you. And this is off the piece. It's very it beautiful? beautiful one. Yeah. Yes, I like if it. If the whole boulder is like this, then you owe me a lot of money. <laughs> beautiful. I think he's really happy. Thank you. Um, what are you doing? I'm thinking about uh, heading into the mine right now with Long. Um, so I was thinking maybe it'd be cool for you to come with me and Robin. In the high alpine of Two Mile, Robin and Claudia are heading into the biggest sale of their mining career with their buyer, Mr. Long. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, very beautiful. This is a quarter million dollar deal. It's a, it's a lot of stress. This is your baby. Your piece came from right there. They show him the first slab that was cut from their 90-ton boulder. We think that that one's perfect for you. It's not, not the same. He wasn't impressed. 
Mr. Long doesn't think the jade looks as good as the sample Claudia showed him earlier today. This is the exact piece that your piece came off of. Mm -hmm. Claudia saw me as a small piece, very good quality. But when I see the hole, I saw some crack inside. So I have to think about this. The more concerned that he got, the more concerned I got. Claudia? Yeah. I think for this one, at least you have to cut this side. Oh, God, no. Yeah. No. If they make any more cuts without a deal in place, it could reduce the value of the rock for other potential buyers. Yeah, we can cut it anyway, but you're wasting material, and it's not going to sell. I don't want to cut another piece off just to cut a piece off. There's some cracks underneath? Not at all. We would not sell it to you if it had big cracks. Some cracks? I don't know. It's come across the stone or not. It's a game. He wants it, he doesn't want it. Big problem. This sale we could lose very easily. That's really a slippery slope right now. At Two Mile. Over here, Long. Claudia's buyer, Mr. Long, has turned down her first jade slab. I love this. So now she's moved on to the second rock set aside for him. Look at all the different colors of jade in one. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. They've polished small sections to show off the color. This is gorgeous. Like, the stone is beautiful. I, I need this plain color. Oh, the plainer color? Yeah, yeah. The rock contains too many shades of green for Mr. Long. Now, the color is no good. I'm starting to think he's just dragging stuff on to make us drop our price. Hmm, very difficult. I'll show you something else. OK. I'm scrambling because things are falling apart. So now I go straight into fix-it mode. What can I do? What's another option? As a last resort, Claudia shows Mr. Long a rock they had written off because of fractures. It's a beautiful boulder. So this one has uh, the big cracks in it. Hmm. Color is better. Maybe we can cut this way to take this uh, cracks. What do you think, Rupin? I think you can cut this way. He wants us to cut it two more times. I'm not into it. I've done nothing this season but trying to cut your stuff. That's a tough call for him. But I need to end it now for me. I don't want to cut any more of this one if you think that there's a, not a chance. It's his call now. Mr. Long has decided he's ready to head home to Vietnam. The deal's done. There is no deal. I feel sick to my stomach. Back in Jade City. You gotta make that deal as simple as that. Claudia is asking her dad Steve's advice on how to save the sale. Quit playing the games. You'll lose for sure. Oh, I know. He has over 30 years of experience dealing with difficult buyers. No bullshit, you know? Mr. Long is set to leave Jade City, so Claudia needs to make a decision fast. I think we should flip over the boulder yeah. so that you're more comfortable with seeing underneath that there is no yeah, cracks. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Long agrees to Claudia's compromise. She won't cut the rock, but she'll turn it over. We're going to separate today. I'm going to take Gary and Joshua into the mine site. So we're going to flip the boulder. He wants to see the bottom. We've got to be very careful not to chip him. We've been frantic for a long time to make this deal work, so I'm not going to walk away from it. She's just going crazy. It's a lot of stress for, for anybody, you know? OK, let's go. Robin, Garen, and his girlfriend, Ashley, are heading into the mine with Six Pack. The truck will be needed to haul out Jade if they make a sale. <laughs> You're OK, Garen? This is fast melt, but otherwise I'm good. Holy There's a lot of water sitting in there. Yeah. This mud hole has caused them trouble all season. 
but now it's even worse. Well, I'll see if I can uh, get through there. Okay. After seeing Robin going through the water hole and, uh, you know, I'm driving the way bigger truck, it's harder for me to be able to straddle the ruts properly. It freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Ashley, she's not used to stuff like this. She was freaking out. But eventually she'll get used to it. <laughs> you got room. Got good. Yeah. Meanwhile, up at the mine. Hey, why aren't you selling me a flip it on its back here? The sale to Mr. Long is all riding on whether there's fractures on the other side of this rock. Nice. That works. Okay. There's no cracks. Why is it like out oh, here? Yeah. But now he's found a new problem. It's a black pen along this way. There's a dark streak running across the rock. Claudia, we cannot use this. I'm not happy with the stone. Robin and Garen have made it safely to camp with Six Pack. Perfect. Long. Huh? But up at the mine, things aren't going as well. Okay. Uh -huh. Claudia's buyer, Mr. Long, has rejected every rock she's shown him. I feel like we're losing the sale. A lot of work's gone into this. It's cost us a lot. I don't want to let this go. Take a look at this one. This is the same rock right here. Mr. Long has already turned down the slab from the 90-ton boulder. But in a last-ditch attempt to salvage the sail, Claudia shows him the other half of the rock. Can you give me the water so we can wash it really well so that he can really take a look at it? It's nice up here. Some black guy. How can I avoid it? Too much black. But we don't know how deep it goes into the middle here. This rock also has a dark stain, but it only runs down one side. There's a chance that it's only four inches deep. If we take off that black, you don't think you can make this part work? If they cut off the black section, there could be enough quality jade left to carve a Buddha statue. I've already got so much money invested in this, I really can't let it go. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Sweet, Pete. Our whole future is up in the air. I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't work. This one might be cut mm -hmm. this way. Yep. So if you cut this off, do you think you might be able to make it work? Hmm. Very, very difficult. What do you, what do you think? We can yeah. cut off the section you don't cut want. Out the cut, cut that yeah. off. Tomorrow, they'll cut the rock, and then Mr. Long will make his final decision. Everything that seems to be simple in the jade industry, including selling jade, is not simple. Nothing about jade mining is easy. If you want to find it, you have to fight for it. 
If you want to sell it, you have to fight for it. But no matter how bad it gets, it's never going to get bad enough for me to stop. OK, let's go. We're cutting this yeah, a boat there. Morning at the Two Mile Jade Mine in northern British Columbia. The plan is to cut off this black side. We cut this, and he'll see it, and he'll make a choice. Their buyer is looking for a piece of jade to carve into a Buddha statue, but he's concerned about a black stain that runs along one side of the rock and wants it sliced off. This is our last chance we have to pull this deal together. It'll have to be there to cut that black out. If the black patch continues further into the slab, this deal could be over. This is the biggest sale they've ever had for Jade. So they're looking at some serious money here, and I wouldn't want to be in their shoes right now. Pajamas. My good luck, pajamas. <laughs> Claudia and the buyer, Mr. Long, arrive to oversee this critical cut. This is one shot to cut this properly. This is a make or break, this one. Here or there? I think it's long this way. Right there? Yes. OK. Move this over some more. How far over does it got to go? Right here. There's no room for error. That's the line of the wire, right here. Damn it. Or auction away. We're going to be off a bit. We can only go to there. Why? Because the pulley sticks out here. You guys, we need to do a, a proper cut. So if we can't do a proper cut, then I think we should move this big rock. To make more space for the saw, Claudia wants Robin to push a huge boulder out of the way. If we move the rock, she's another hour. This cut has to be finished before Mr. Long leaves tomorrow night. Will it be done in 24 hours? I don't know. Time is very important. We've got to have this rock cut. And five minutes is five minutes. You start adding a lot of them up, and you got a whole day gone. Can you pull this rock over just a bit, Gary? Because then it's cut where he wants to cut it. Claudia suggests moving the slab to line it up better with the saw. I can try it. But one wrong move could damage the jade. Absolutely, our whole future is up in the air. How we can mine, how much money we can spend mining. It all hinges on this guy buying this jade from me. Good. <laughs> it's a lot of stress. This really is the last chance we have. Good. In the bottom and the back is in a groove, and it's pretty even. It here. might hop over. Yep. Just like barely get it moving. Yep. At two mile, Robin and Josh are under pressure to get the saw running as quickly as possible. Look at that. He's got it wide open right off the map. This jade slab has to be cut before their buyer leaves in less than 24 hours. We must get this done in a hurry without any delays. Cut it straight. Don't break anything. I'm nervous about it. Can you turn it down a bit? Is it going? For fuck's sake! You've got it too high. OK, hang on. So do you want to just turn it till it just starts moving? Now leave it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's cutting good now, but stays going until it gets cut. Let's just get the sh done. Early morning at Two Mile. Josh is overseeing the most important cut of the season. Fueled up. Water's all good. I got a couple feet left on my track. Long is supposed to be flying out later in the day, so we're under a big time crunch right now to get this rock split. Come on. Holy sh oh. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Anybody in the kitchen? Yes, sir. Rock just broke. Happy that. You ready to go, Robin? It's the moment of truth at Two Mile. Long, are you ready to go? Yeah, OK, thank you. Close, yeah. The boys are done. To make a jade sale would be career-changing for my parents. 
We need this Buddha sail to go through. Let's go take a look at this rock. Claudia's biggest sail ever rides on whether her buyer, Mr. Long, likes the quality of jade inside this rock. If this is not good, and he decides there's no chance, go ahead. Then everything we've done so far this year is for nothing. There you go. Leave it. Yep. That's a lot on the line. So I think it's OK. OK. I'm glad you're happy. He looks at the boulder, and he goes, great. But? But, he says, OK, what? What's the but? I think she needs to cut. Yeah. Well. Cut this end off. Yeah. Now Mr. Long wants another cut before he'll even consider making a deal with Claudia. Four inches? Is this a strategy? Is this a real concern? We're just losing hope that Mr. Long will buy anything. You're cutting this for weight or for? No, for Chase. For Chase, this is like, if it's the size of stone, I think the big problem for me. Back at Two Mile, Claudia has a big decision to make. So he wants about four inches off. Mm hmm Not too much. It's just going to be a little tough to cut it that thin. I understand it'll give him a little bit more clarity on this side, so I get, I get what he wants. Are you going to make these cuts without a deal? Josh thinks it's a bad idea to do any more cuts without a firm deal. OK. 100% is a negotiating game. So Robin, we'd have to turn this? Yeah, got to use a bucket. My parents do business a lot more on a trust basis. And so lucrative business people see that, take advantage of it. Hopefully my folks don't let him. But Claudia's backed into a corner. So where? How? I didn't have a choice but to do one more cut, because if he walked out, that would have been it. We slide the front over, and then we'll have to lift the back corner to put a block so we can get the wire under. So the thinness that he wants, we've got to be exact on the cut. Robin, what? please start to be really, really careful, because this is when accidents really start to happen, is when people yes. are in a yep. hurry. Yes. I just want I you not to get your interference, because he has to listen to me. So don't interfere. I know. I'm not. I'm telling okay. you, please be careful. Yeah. Let's get this going here. Take the tooth, set it right there. OK, watch out. You're right beside my thing here where my corner is. You need to step away from my machine, please. Eight hours of chopper lands. Robin and Josh have to complete this cut before Mr. Long leaves tonight, or there is no deal. Bring it into you, right up to here. Now they're going to be both under massive pressure. Right there. Perfect. And they need to make it happen. got to go all the way over and stick this corner under that corner and then try to lift a bit okay. and drag. I just don't know that I can get in there. Do you need to lift it for the wire, right, Robin? Yeah. Under the watchful eye of their buyer, Mr. Long. For Josh, I'd be a little nervous because you cannot make a mistake. You've got to get underneath it. You cannot damage the stone. Yep. You try pulling it. Up. Up a touch and as you're pulling. Yep. What are you doing? You're not giving me any signals, bud. We need that about there. I can't see anything that you just pointed to. To get a perfectly straight cut to where he wants it, it's got to be set up perfectly straight or we're out the money. Good, good. Straight up. Curl or up? Straight up. You're making, like, a bunch of hand signals. You're going like this, like. Go right up. Sliding off the teeth. So what do I do? We need this to go straight up. OK, I'm starting to get choked. Drop her back down. Drop her down. OK, come under. Good enough. Up. That's working. Yep. Be careful it doesn't drop on you. Let it. Please, not right now. You're making this harder for me. OK. Way harder. 
Okay, just go straight down. If that stabilized, that worked. Okay. Oh, it's so tight. And everyone's dressed to the max. Where do you want it? I don't know where I want it until I see it cutting. I need to loosen it or tighten it, depending on if it starts cutting or not. It's mid-morning at Two Mile, and tension is high. We're trying to get this last cut done for Long. Time is running out to seal the deal with their buyer, Mr. Long. It has to be straight. OK, don't pull it. Let it come back. And they still haven't even started up the saw. Good to put it here. A little more over? Yeah. OK. It'll be really tricky down there. I don't know if it'll stay there. We need this done right away. But hurrying it and making the cut no good doesn't help us at all. If you get enough pressure on this and you pull hard it, enough and you spin the wire fast when, enough. When it starts to cut, yeah. it's going to go where it has to go. That's wrong. That's why we get this, and the wire but, will go wherever it wants to go. You guys can't argue. You guys can't argue. This is the deal. Can we all work together? As soon as he gets frustrated, Robin doesn't communicate. And as soon as Joshua gets frustrated, Joshua over communicates. Let's go. Let's go. I'm in the middle. The last thing you want is your buyer to watch absolute chaos. But that's what we have. Difficult. We're good. We're good. OK, let's see if we can get her started. OK, hold on. Yep. What is long thing? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. OK. Now? Yep. This has no potential for error. None. Good? Yep. Just hold it there. Yep. Saw's going. Bam. How does it look? Good. How long do you think this will take to cut? Between 7 and 8, the helicopter will be here. We can hope. I don't know. It's going as fast as it can go. Mr. Long is leaving tonight. Deal or no deal? This is the last thing I can do. If I can't make this happen in the next eight hours, I'm done. Keep it close. Early evening at Two Mile. It's going to fall over. The clock is ticking. When you start here and it cut hard like that, it's getting close. The crew have just one more hour to try and sell a jade slab to their buyer, Mr. Long. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There, now it's done. Woo! It's a big chunk of jade. Beautiful break. Now, before he flies out, he can see it. I hope it's good. If Mr. Long likes what he sees, this sale could go a long way towards paying for their mining season. This is it. Our last visit. Yes. <sighs> we worked so hard to get here. This could change everything. OK. Is that good? Mr. Long has to make sure he can work around any fractures to carve this piece of jade into a five-foot-tall Buddha statue. So long, are you still thinking about it? You find these good. Yeah? <laughs> this one's a deal? Like a handshake deal? Like a yes? Yeah. 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? OK. <laughs> You're sure? <laughs> I think I just sold jade. That's happy dance right That's there, That's the huh? best. This is what we mine for. This is our dream. We got a job next year, maybe. <laughs> we got a job next year, maybe. Thank you, Long. Thank you, buddy. This is exactly the moment that we've been waiting for. It took 10 years. We have potential of making some good money when he pays for a jade. Lots of things that can go wrong in that process. Till that stuff is at Vancouver, we don't see a penny. So there's a lot riding on this yet. This is just the beginning. Next time on Jade Fever. Bill's gonna give me this whole V8 up there. As long as I get it home in one piece. Don't need another piece of scrap. This is a big sale. It's intense. The rock is way heavier than we think. 
We have to get it out in one piece or we don't get paid. When it doesn't work first try, I get treated like a fucking moron. Quit thinking that I'm always calling you down. You can see the pressure. She's gonna drop. Something's bound to fail.